Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and I am, well, it is day 17 here on the Frozen Rock. Uh, if you remember the last episode, we barely got back. We literally had zero hydrogen left in the tanks. So I am going to add another tank, and I will see how well that does. I'm going to try to reconfigure the use of my thrusters a little bit, and I may uh, take a couple of these up thrusters off as it uh, has, uh, I think it has an awful lot of thrust. So I'm going to build that hydrogen tank. Matter of fact, let's get that done right now. Let's get up here. And we can hopefully, uh, let's just uh, take a quick peek inside here. Uh, control panel. And yeah, it's filling. I've got ice already in the conveyor, so we'll get this filled up uh, because it is connected in. Uh, I also need to rename this thing FM dash uh, and that we also need to put it on stockpile which is what it's doing and we also need to Uh, let's... Hydrogen tank, hydrogen tank. Uh, let me hop out and <clears throat> get back into it. Alright, control panel. FM dash. Alright. We want to... Oh, I did not have a... Since I only had one, I did not have a group set up for them, so let's call those hydro tanks. Actually, FM hydro tanks. There we go. Save. And then uh, I might as well get up into the cockpit before I forget. I know it's not much of a cockpit, but... Alright, so I need to do a G. Let's go to groups. Uh, hydro tanks. Just place it down here. Stockpile on. Off. Is that what I did? Let's do that again. Stockpile tank. On, off. Alright. And they should be on if we do this. That's off. That's on. All right. We got the uh, hydrogen tanks filling up. And so we should be set for when we're ready to take off again. Which I'm hoping is not going to be too much longer. Uh, we'll probably want to make another run. But <clears throat> if we go over here to our bauxite that we had gathered up we have made uh, we've got uh, 5.8 K of uh, aluminum so we should be in pretty good shape now let me check something here because I thought well, I know what probably happened is I thought I was grabbing them all and I only got 180. I wanted to grab those out of there so that we get some more on hand. 
this should be producing plates, aluminum plates. It is. All right, we'll let that go ahead and get built up to 200. The other thing that we need to do here, uh, I need to start figuring out a place for, let's just bring it up here, uh, production blocks. And where is it? That's the advanced assembler munitions. We're gonna have to get that built too. But that takes advanced computers and titanium. So we're gonna have to find titanium. Uh, where is it? The microelectronics factory. Uh, that takes steel, basic computers, glass. We can make glass. Uh, we can and we can make aluminum plates. So we can now make this matter. Of, so I need to figure out where I would like to place that. And I th am thinking that, well, we have this plumbed in <coughs> to here. So if I, well, let's just pull it down. Where did it go? So we can look at it, see how big it is. All right, it's not it's not that big. Looks like it's two by two. Now, it does not have a bottom port. I wonder though, if we put this in like this, what if we stack this like this? Do something like that, and then I could plumb it in right down on the, like right through one of these blocks right here, and that would work. Because uh, eventually I think I'm going to be building out this direction to add on. So we can go that direction. We've got more room here. And we can continue to build out on the other side of the refinery, I think, for what I'm th planning. I think my uh, oil and petrol chemicals will go on the other side of the refinery. And that should fit out and in there. So let me, uh, let's take Let's see, if we take, well, it's two blocks. I wanna leave some room there. So I think if we take, let's take this block out. And let's see how this fits in here. Uh, <clears throat> Change my paint color back to red. So it's got to go something about like that. Trying to get this placed in there. All right. So it's got to go like that. Where is the... Okay. Put that in right there. That's probably the one thing that I get a little frustrated with this. There's no bottom ports on these 
uh, on this uh, for the industrial overhaul. It would be nice if there was some bottom ports to where you could uh, port in from the bottom. Uh, but you know what? I should have. All right. Well, I'll, uh, all right. Let's, uh, uh, I need to figure out how to get that built so that I can get in and out of there. Can I reach that from here? No, not quite. Let's take that out. What do I got on me? So if I need to get out of here. I do have some girders, so I can build me a... Uh, Alright. So, let's do this. Take that out. Oh, shoot. Uh, not doing so well here. Let's see if I have gotten myself in a pickle here. Slope. Put that there. All right. Come on. Oh boy. All right, let's see if we can take this one out. All right, let's see if we can get up to there. All right. All right, we got to kind of redo this thing a little bit here. Get myself in and out of here. That should pop in there. Alright. Alright, there we go. We got myself out. Uh, I need so what I want to what I need to put in down there is like a T junction. Uh, let's get to here the pipes. put in something like that what else do they have they have that oh, well I'm thinking about it let's change that color I think that's the color uh, So I either have a cross pipe or so I think I'll put the cross pipe in and then I can put that T junction on top which means I need to take this back out okay I should well, I'd better get the parts first. That's not being very logical. Uh, three. We want to do the conveyor pipe cross. Let's get all the parts for it. Cannot withdraw three motors. Probably because I'm full. But we should be able to get this put in there like that. And let's, uh, do that. All right, there's the rest of our parts. And I should unload some of this aluminum. We can go ahead, this probably should have plates stacked up so we can put all of this into there now and let's uh, 
So we got that in place. We want to put, I think, one of these in here. I don't know if I want to do that or if I want to go to and just put that. I think. I think I'm going to put that in a uh, square conveyor junction. Let's see if we can get the parts for this. Okay. And we could put that right there. Got that in. All right, let's uh, <clears throat> let's get these cement blocks back in. That can go there, and we need to take that out. And we can get this block back in. There we go. Now, I need to get... Let's get... Uh, there we go. Alright, well, that was kind of a close call. Almost getting stuck down there. But we've got that in place. Now, let's... Uh, Let's see if we can get this in place. That's going to take a hundred aluminum plates. Wow. All right. Let's look at this thing. I, I want... Well, shoot, I better grab the parts. Oh, 24 glass. Do I have glass made? I've got the ceramics over here. I better make sure I got the glass made. Oh, it's making it. So I probably, I don't remember what I had for production, but all right. So, I'm full. Alright, so I should just be able to get this down. And I want to... I think this is the way I want to put this in. Let's uh, put that right there like that. Hopefully we've got this in the right direction. All right. Construction and five basic computers. That must mean it's still building it. Check on the fabricator. How come you're all queued up? Inventory on the fabricator. Eh, that's because you're loaded on your inventory. Uh, let's take
take that out of there. And there it goes. Yeah, now it can get its iron. So we can throw this cobalt over here. And let's get rid of this stuff. That will all go to wherever it needs to go. Alright, it's building now. Let's see if we can get some of this stuff done. Uh, just need the construction components. got to take care of this light. I'm going to have to move that light. Uh, we'll do that next, just so we're not falling in the hole. I don't want to fall into another hole. Get stuck. Alright. Fabricator, are you working on... Uh, fabricator, Fabricator, what do you got going? Let's move those up to there. All right. Just four more. There we go. Now we should be able to finish this. Okay. Let's see. All right. Uh, production. Advanced computers. Oh, it needs plastic. Great. And plastic comes from... Oh, always something. I don't think plastic comes from over here. Production over here, we just make ceramic, armor, and glass. Where does the plastic come from? Uh, that gets crude oil from oil sand. And that cracks crude oil into various products. Hmm. Oh, man. Well, I, maybe we're still a little ways off from, from our technology. I think the nano, the munitions, the advanced assembler, the chemical refinery, Better and sulfur and extracts pure carbon from coal. Uh, uranium centrifuge wire, cement, ceramics. That's our ore purifier, synthetics. Produces synthetic plastic rubber, and I wonder if that's what I need. I can make that, but I think it needs... We're going to have to find oil sand. Well, all right. Well, shoot. What else do you make? Uh... Can make sensor clusters. It can make displays now. Well, it makes plastic, thermocouplers, basic computers, which we could in one, uh, which in the, the fabricator. And this takes gold wire too. All right. Well, we still got a little ways to go. I think we've got gold. We'll be able to go and get gold. 
but I gotta figure out plastic. All right, well, we've got at least got it built. So the next thing I was gonna do is take care of this light, so I gotta take this light out and then replace it. Let's do that. We should be able to put a block in here now. There we go. And then let's go ahead and place that light. Let's see, let me get to my light section. There we go, seven. Which I need aluminum plates for these, so I better go grab some aluminum. Uh, let's grab ten of them. And where's our little trick? Where are you at right there? Let me just throw you in right there there for now and then we want that one works good place you there oh just uh, trying to get to the top of that Low. Let's make us a block to get up there. Okay. Now let's go back to here. There we go. There. And... Let's uh, change the color for our light. Uh, so that's probably good. And then let's go six. Uh, I need construction components. Uh, actually, I wonder might need to make that light bulb. Not sure. I do need that light bulb. But we can make those now. Uh, the fabricator. Let's get into the fabricator. Production. Fabricator. There we go. A light bulb. All right, and let's go ahead and adjust this. My standard 214, 177, gives it more of a yellowish. We want this up to 20, intensity down to about 3. Okay. All right, that's fixed. No more hole. And let's get rid of this now. There we go. All right. We've been doing an awful lot this morning so far. I'm going to go work on the garage a bit more. And then we're probably going to be close to calling this a uh, episode. So let me go work on the garage. We've got our 
micro assembler in place, not that we can really use much. Uh, I better go hop in the old electric chair over here and get uh, charged up. But once I get uh, more of that garage done, uh, I will catch back up with you. Well, <clears throat> I'm here in the garage. I've got uh, some more done on it. Uh, I still have to uh, build it all in, but I think I've got it pretty well framed out. I need to put some, you know, some stuff along here, uh, maybe some rails or something like that. Uh, I might have to go a little farther back with this, but we will see. I'm not sure yet. Uh, but again, I got to build all of this out. And as I mentioned, I was going to put uh, an entrance in from up above up here, where I had my hole uh, already started in grinding my stone out. So I've got uh, the steps in and, and the catwalks in. Again, I got to build all of this out and see how it looks. Uh, actually, I think I need to put a catwalk there. And yeah, so uh, I think the next episode I'll be working on trying to uh, get this all built. And then that way we can move the uh, buggy down into the garage. Uh, I'll still need to run power over to it, but that should be a fairly easy process. That shouldn't be too much of a, a problem. And I think in the next episode, we will uh, give this another test flight because I did get that second hydrogen tank on there. It's all filled and just kind of see how much hydrogen we use uh, with uh, two tank fulls. We should be easily able to easily get up there and back. And if I'm still using too much fuel, I might remove some of these thrusters. But again, that that's in the next episode. So. I think with that, I hope uh, you all enjoyed the episode today. We did get some more stuff accomplished on here. We got the uh, uh, micro electronics factory in. <coughs> and I got some more stuff done on the garage. So, all right. Well, space engineers out there, keep building away. I hope uh, you enjoyed the episode. And I will see you all in the next uh, uh, episode. Thanks for watching, everyone.